So I'm um, just up the range today. I've been a bit tardy getting the video part of the review done. So I'm just going to shoot a couple of groups with it. I've got some uh, Federal Fusion 308 150 grain. It's a pretty standard soft tip bullet. And I've got the uh, Federal Premium to the 165 grain trophy bomber tip, which I shot a couple animals with and uh, proved to be pretty brutal, pretty devastating on them. Big expect that actually awaits so it was a grunty little knockdown cartridge. But um, yeah, we'll do some groups just at Hundy. Um, and then do a little bit of an a little bit of a detail on the, on the gun itself. You know when you fire these, that's for sure. The shoulder knows it. The grunt is. Ow! <laughs> Bloody hell. She's a booter. So we'll um, shoot a, she now shoot a group with the 150 fusions. And we'll see how that goes. Just to bring it, I just did a side forward, bring it down a couple of clips, or shoot the high. Jumped out of my hand. Right group though. We're ready. Go check those targets out. I'm just checking those two great on the left is the uh, federal premiums. 165s and on the left is the federal fusions 150s. So I mean yeah they're inch inch-ish groups and they're not they're not the flashes, but um, it's alright 100 yards though, you know. I'm not the flashiest shooter, so that's all good. Caught up with that uh, mob of goats again. I'll take out that big billy. They're on the on the property that they want me to shoot the goats on, so I'm gonna do my bit. So we'll, we'll, we'll have a crack at that guy. He's down. Oh. Just picked up this billy. Um, I was out hunting fellow all this morning, spooked a couple, and then I saw this mob on the way in, and I'd, I sort of left them for the time being, but on the way out, I sort of caught up with them again, and um, so the deal was if I see any goats on the property, I've got to shoot them. 
So I picked out this billy, I should pick out one of my chill billies and, and um, shot him uh, with the Sour 101 and 308. I'm um, using some federal uh, 165 grain nickel plated beat plastic tips. Just a uh, pretty straightforward 80 meter neck shot on him. Uh, straight through the neck and he pretty much just popped his pole axed him. There's, a, there's a quite a good mob around, but uh, I just picked off him. But, um, yeah, so, the, so not a deer for the for the first kill for the sour, but uh, not, not a bad billy, so I'm still pretty stoked. Just up in the uh, back of the boogie. Trying to get on to some deer. Pretty nice morning this morning. It looked like it was going to rain a little bit, but the uh, sun's coming out and the wind's dropped off, but uh, well over the side of the hill anyway. Well, I just um, picked up a fellow doe up in Tipuki. It was about 11 o'clock, pretty windy. But uh, there are two just milling through the bush. This older one, she's a bit of an old girl. She's got thin on it and stuff. She's in the face and that. And, um, and another younger yearling, two, uh, two year old. And um, got it with the Sour 101, which I'm reviewing at the moment. Um, you know, yeah, so good to get a bit of venison for the freezer and uh, for summer. And um, now we'll cut her up and get out of here. Yeah, so just to um, sort of finish up for the little bit of a video review for the Sour 101 Classic XT, this one in 308. Um, I'm just going to highlight a couple of the um, sort of main features about it. Um, overall, I mean, I've been hunting with it quite a bit. Um, I've carried it in the field quite a lot and uh, shot a couple of animals with it, Billy Goat and the Fallow. Um, and uh, I mean, to be expected, it just Perform really well. It's a it's a classic. It's a classic rifle and uh, really nicely machined and fitted. Um, sort of probably probably the key features is the one thing is the bolt. This one's actually, to be honest, it's it's got a wet over the time I've had it, and it is definitely getting a little bit of discoloration on it and a little bit of, sort of that surface sort of rust spots. But anyway, um, regardless, um, one thing I like about it, and it's up with the Mors M12, is it's the same diameter all the way through. And that sort of what really, um, as I've come to learn, is what really gives it that nice, um, smooth sort of um, piston sort of feel. You know, there's just basically hardly any play in there. there. And um, while I'm not cycling rounds, you know, one after the other all the time, it's not really the way I hunt or shoot, uh, hunt in that. Um, it, it's still, it's still, it's still, you know, it's still nice to have. Um, nice positive lock on it. Um, it's a nice little knurled little bolt handle there, that's all good. Uh, magazine, again it's really similar to the Mors M2. I don't want to compare it directly, but you, can't, you sort of kind of have to because they are so similar and they're kind of similar. Same factory I guess, or same components. Um, so the magazine's the same. This one, what's this one? Oh, 243 and 308, so that would be 4 plus 1. Uh, it's 4 plus 1 or 5 plus 1, anyway. Um, and that fits it's not in there. It does, um, it hasn't got the quite the ejection port on the on on the 101 is quite a bit smaller than that on the M12, um, and so you don't. You, it's certainly not set up to be thumbing rounds in, but it does suffer that same sort of problem when you do, even though you're not really going to. Um, they do. They've got a little because it's the long action. Um, it does suffer a little bit of a catching of the of the um, of the rounds and loading it. But that's it's it's really not even. A, I'll mention it. It's worth mentioning, but it's not really. It's a bit of a non-issue to be honest. Um, what else to mention about it? Ah, uh, the safety. Safety on the, um, on the, class, uh, on the S101. Um, it's got a nice little top tang safety right at the rear of the bolt shroud there. And it's really, really easy to use. Um, it's a nice low profile. And it just slips on and off. Practically zero, zero noise. Um, another feature I like is if you, you can uh, you can have the safety on and you, by pressing down the um, Bolt release little button there, and you can cycle around out with safety on. So that's a really nice, nice feature there. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it, really. I mean, it's got you know the stock was pretty good. I mean, 
a little bit in the wet. It was a little bit slippery, but um, you know, it's so much the much just really. Um, on the scope, was you had the Weaver Grand Slam, two to um, two to eight by thirty six, and uh, that performed really well. You know, it's a good scope. Um, thirty six, the city six objective is. I, I'm kind of used to sort of at least a forty to forty two, and so I found it a little bit narrow, but in the end of the day, it still it still does its job. Um, it's got a really nice. I guess you can call it the magnification ring, um, which is it's pretty much the whole end here, uh, and it's just really easy to grab. It's got nice machined and nail bits there to um, for, to rotate it, and I th I, th I really like that feature on the on the weaver. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it really. All right, trigger. Jeez, I know it's lots of, oh, holy, holy moly! Um, the trigger sits, sits off at about. Oh, it's a factory, factory set. Oh, yes. Factory set, two pounds. Ooh. Crisp as. Got a little bit of bowl of fee. What nice batters on the, some of those uh, the old sarcos though. Um, nice good, nice grip butt pad. Soaks up a bit of that three hour weight thump. Um, yep. So overall, really good rifle. I've enjoyed my time with it in the field and. Um, I mean, I happily recommend it for a first-time buyer. If you're looking for, looking for um, oh, not a first-time rifle buyer or any buyer that's looking for a new rifle, and uh, with that sort of, um, and they're really, you know, I, I guess it's in the mid sort of range um, price for firearm. So overall, yeah, really good rifle, and draw my time with it. Cheers.